And the organized labor in Adamawa State joined the nationwide protest against the federal government's policy on fuel subsidy removal while calling on it to consider the plight of the masses. And members of the NLC marched from the state headquarters to the government house in Yola to mark the nationwide protest. They carried placards with different inscriptions, chanting songs of solidarity as they marched. The group was received at the gate of the government house by the chief of staff to the governor, Dr. Egba Amos, while presenting a letter to the chief of staff. The NLC chairman called on the state government to redouble its efforts in creating measures to curb the untold hardship of the subsidy removal is causing on the people. To join our brothers across the country in protesting the present hardship that is meted on the citizenry, courtesy, of course, of some anti-people, anti-workers, anti-masses policies of the federal government. We want to quickly remember that prior to the May 2019 this year, our life was not this way. We want to say that our life has changed from May 29 to death, only that the change is not positive. The change is negative. We want to say that, Your Excellency, the purchasing power of an average civil servant, or even a civil servant, and the masses of Nigeria has drastically been reduced. The government said they have removed, removed uh, the subsidy hitherto enjoyed on PMS. In our own considered view, we say that is a hike in the price of uh, petroleum products, particularly PMS. So we don't consider it as just subsidy removal. Also to assure you that the pains that the Adamawa state workers and indeed the Adamawa citizens are going through are also his pains. We have discussed this repeatedly. The leadership of the organized labor will bear testimony to the fact that long before now he constituted a committee to look at measures towards mitigating the pains resulting from the removal of fuel subsidy. And a lot of the government's decisions are born out of that committee. I want to sincerely thank you for the cordial relationship between government and organized labor in Adamawa State, and to assure you that anything and everything that the government needs to do to ameliorate your pains, government will do it because this is your government.